Hey there, Ride the Car Guy here, and today we're gonna to defy some quarantine orders by swapping some fluid. The manual for the Mustang says to swap out the transmission fluid every 60,000 miles. Well, this one's at about 110, and I highly doubt it was ever even done at 60, so that's what we're gonna to do today. It should be a pretty quick job, as it's relatively simple. You just have a good old-fashioned drain plug in the bottom of your transmission, and a fill plug up on the side. It's gonna be about the same difficulty of doing an oil change. The only difference is that you're gonna need a fluid pump to get the fluid out of the container into the actual transmission. The other hiccup is, if you don't have a space where you can lift your car on, say, an actual lift, you need to find some way to get your car lifted on all four sides on the same height, meaning it needs to be level when you're filling the liquid back up. For my Mustang, I went with the Mercon ATF. That's actually what it calls for in the manual. ATF stands for Automatic Transmission Fluid, but uh, that is the correct fluid. So if you go to a Ford dealership or really any auto parts store, they're gonna give you Mercon LV. You can also, of course, take this opportunity to upgrade your fluid, get something like a Royal Purple brand. Uh, just do your research, make sure you're getting something that is compatible with your transmission. All right, let's get under this thing and get that fluid out of there. So first things first, we're actually going to make sure that we can crack open the fill hole in the side of the transmission. Now, this is important because if for whatever reason you have difficulty opening the fill hole, you don't wanna open the drain hole and drain all your liquid out without making sure you can fill it back up. So, what's nice about this is that the fill and the drain hole have plugs that have the, um, the 3 8 ratchet head as the hole. So what I mean by that is literally you take the head of your ratchet and you can plug it right into the plug and that is your way to get the plug out. It's very nice. Now you can find the fill hole on the very back of the transmission where it um, starts to hit the drive shaft and then it is about halfway up on the passenger side. So what we need to do is I put in a little, a little extender here on mine. I had a very small extender. If you don't have one, you should be able to make it work. You just have to basically put the handle of your ratchet effectively where my camera is right now. So kind of towards the rear of the vehicle. But I'm just gonna snap this in place. And then I'm gonna just make sure I can open this up. Let's see here. Awesome. Nice and easy. So for me, I'm actually gonna go ahead and just take this all the way out. And I'm doing that because uh, well, the, when you open the drain plug, the uh, fluid will flow out a lot easier. All right. Now that that's out, let's go ahead and take our drain plug out and get this sucker drained. So the same story down here. We have our fill plug out, so it's ready to go. And so I'm just gonna take the drain plug, plug it in there and just back this out. Make sure you have your drain pan ready. Really any drain pan will do. Uh, it's only gonna be three and a half quarts, well, technically less, about 3.2 quarts of liquid. So um, unless you're using like a teacup or a shot glass, you should have no issue. So I'm gonna continue to back this out. There we go. And there we go. And that is not how transmission fluid should look. And that is not how transmission fluid should work. And why did it just spray everywhere? Well, that's why you always wear eye protection, folks, because uh, this came out with an extreme vengeance for some reason. It was pretty excited and uh, sprayed absolutely everywhere. So um, just be careful when doing this and make sure you're wearing gloves and uh, eye protection. Now I'm going to go clean this uh, corrosive liquid off my GoPro. Now that we've gone through and done our uh, cleanup of that catastrophe, uh, I realized that my, my drain pan has like these kind of grooves in it and uh, it must've just hit that groove just right to kind of put on its own little uh, miniature Bellagio fountain show. So uh, once we're done, we're gonna clean off our uh, drain plug and it says to put some sealant and uh, thread locker back on it. So we went ahead and did that. And now we're just going to put this back in and we're gonna cinch it down to 18 foot pounds. 
So real quick, I wanted to highlight the difference between this new fluid here and the uh, old fluid that came out of the transmission. So here's the new fluid. As you can see, it is nice and bright red. And um, you know, it's not super high viscosity, but it certainly isn't as thin as water. But it should be clear, should be um, red, of course, red in color, and uh, have a little bit of viscosity to it. Now, if we compare that to this, take a look at this. This looks like, this looks like an old motor oil, um, honestly. It is absolutely pitch black. It is, uh, I'd say, I don't know, it's still a little viscous, but it is super thin compared to the other one in my opinion. And uh, it is literally just pitch black. Light won't even shine through it. It also smells terrible. So um, it's, you know, transmission fluid doesn't exactly smell great when it's new, but this has a very, very burnt smell to it. So between the two of those, uh, it's pretty obvious that there's a very stark contrast and that this is very, very well used. Now the craziest part is, is that when I got my pan and emptied it all out, I got less than three quarts back out of it. So I was short by at least a quarter of a quart, if not a half. When your transmission has low fluid or really, really old fluid, there can be a lot of symptoms, anything from just being noisy all the way to not being able to shift into gears. That's actually what my problem was. While I was driving, I had issues getting into first sometimes um, or second and sometimes reverse. This was only when the car was running and getting into first and reverse, obviously I was sitting still at a complete stop. So I knew my synchros were not a problem. After seeing this fluid, I would just about guarantee this is gonna help if not fix my problem. All right, let's move on. So next we just need to fill it up. So that's gonna be taking your fluid pump and one of the bottles of your new fluid. So we need to get this hose up into the, the fill hole. And once that's in there, we basically just put the other end in the, uh, in the fluid and start pumping. Now that that's in there, we're just gonna take our, take the top off the fluid here, plug our little pump in, there we go. And just start pumping. This calls for 3.2 quarts, and we know that it's full when it is one half inch below the fill hole. So what we wanna do is I'll, I can probably put in about two and a half quarts, close to three quarts pretty confidently um, before I'm gonna start checking the fluid. And then what I'm gonna do is just grab like a zip tie or something and make a half inch bend and then just bend it into the hole to see, uh, well, to see if it touches it. And if it touches the liquid, then I know we're good. If it doesn't, I know we need to go a little bit more. So just keep on pumping this. And when we're ready to start checking the level, I'll show you how to do that. So now I'm at the point at which I wanna start measuring. I have about three of the quarts in and um, I need to actually start making sure that I don't overfill it uh, because I don't wanna to have to deal with draining any of it out. It would be a huge pain. So what I did is I found uh, a piece of wire. Actually, I think this is a piece of solder. I found it on some, some spool that was in my garage. And I put a bend in at exactly a uh, half inch. So that way I can go in there and if the fluid is, is supposed to be a half inch below the fill hole, I can kind of stick this in, bend it, and then uh, see, obviously treat this as a dipstick, see when the liquid starts hitting this point, And when it does start hitting this point, I know that I'm at the right level. All right, so it looks like I need to do a bit more here. All right, still not there. I'm gonna keep going. All right, there we go. Um, it's probably very, very difficult for you to see, but just the end of my little dipstick that I created is touching liquid. So I feel confident about uh, sealing this back up and putting the fill plug back in. So at this point, we just need to make sure that our fill plug is clean. 
and this one, this goes back in at 18 foot-pounds. Um, I was wrong earlier. I said 18 for the drain plug. It's actually 20 for the drain plug and 18 foot-pounds for uh, the fill plug. All done. Well, that's it. So uh, this didn't exactly go to plan. I was not expecting the Niagara Falls to be pouring out of my transmission, but uh, it worked out. So the, the fluid was pretty darn bad. I think my suspicions were confirmed this had not been done at the 60,000 mark. Uh, so it's very, very old transmission fluid. So what I'm hoping is some of the issues I've been having uh, will get resolved. I had some issues getting into gear um, while moving or even stationary while the car is running. So we'll see if that smooths that out. But all in all, that's how you do it. Um, any questions or comments, put them in the comments below. If you liked this video, make sure to go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe for more content like this, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.